the entire process took one year. I, yeah, <laughs> I started applying online. Um, I applied for more than 100 positions in all sorts of banks in Canada, and I never heard anything back. All I, all I was getting was emails from the bank saying, oh, the position has been filled, but thank you for your interest. So it was very depressing, and I wasn't nervous at all because I thought I wouldn't get it anyways. And I did extremely well in the phone interview. It lasts for 30 minutes. She asked me all kinds of questions, and um, she said right away in a, um, over the phone, I was a potential candidate, and she would definitely give me a call later on. So then I got an interview uh, a week after, but I did really bad in her interview. I got nervous, and I started mumbling. I just couldn't convey what I wanted to tell them. So then I knew I didn't get a job. I just wanted to thank the managers who interviewed me and the ambassador who took my resume. So I went to Hallmark and I bought three thank you cards and I went to the branch just to say thank you to them. I didn't expect to have any opportunities anymore. And the next day I got a phone call from the branch manager. He said, you got a job. Oh, yeah, their mind. yeah, they did. Wow. The ambassador went to the manager and she said, "This girl is so sweet. How can you not hire her?" <laughs> yeah, so they had a position open up just for me. Uh, I learned about cold calling. I tried cold calling, but unsuccessful, mm -hmm. <laughs> which it wasn't successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day, Serena, in uh, in uh, your course, you mentioned networking. You start to write down all the name of the person you know here in Canada. Right. So I was thinking, thinking, thinking because I didn't know anybody here in Canada. So uh, one name came to to my mind. It's a friend of me who work uh, who work uh, with me ten years ago in Mauritius. The uh, next day, I phoned him, and during the weekend that followed. Uh, we met and we had dinner at his place and on that particular day he told me to to give him a copy of my resume that he will uh, uh, he will give to uh, to his uh, supervisor which I did uh, two days later I received a, a phone call from his supervisor, <laughs> from his supervisor, uh, uh, telling me to uh, to come for an interview. Uh, I was very very happy because mm -hmm. it was my uh, my first interview here in Canada after uh, sending uh, more than a hundred resumes. <laughs> yeah. To uh, four days later, uh, I received a mail uh, telling me to. Um, uh, send a list of uh, my referees. Here also, I, I, I didn't know anybody in Canada, so I sent the name of uh, Serna. Yes. <laughs> Serna, and my mentor, my mentor who, who is Mr. Slavic, took around uh, two weeks to, uh, to get the offer. Mm -hmm. And I, at the time, I was very, very happy. <laughs> yeah. When you got the offer. Yeah, when yes. I got the offer. And it was hard waiting. It for was hard working, and the pressure was was here. The pressure was here. Yeah, mm -hmm. after uh, f three months uh, waiting and uh, sending resumes, trying call calling, which uh, was not working. Yeah. So I, it was tough. It was tough. I guess the most important thing was uh, to be always ready. Like uh, even if when you're traveling on the subway, you have to be trying to see if you can find something related to uh, your fields. That's what that was the way I found my actual uh, employee, Sprint Center, while traveling by the subway. I, I found the, the design, uh, but the ad, and I said, okay, I will try there, since I am a Spanish teacher, and I tried to find out in the uh, internet how to get there found it so I went there and said okay yeah we're looking for teachers so bring your resume everything and a couple of days after they called me to start with the training program and I guess 15 days later that uh, I started teaching That's so great. Mm, to be quite honest with you a, a job as a teller Anybody can do it. Anybody who handle cash transaction can do it. So all they're looking for is your interpersonal skills. If you actually fit into their organization, if 
the people in the branch like you. So when you walk into the branch for an interview, make sure you say hi to everybody. Smile to everybody you see. I think that's very important. That's really good advice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's better to look for, for a center which uh, offer the program for professional uh, in, uh, in your particular field. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you have to be always in contact with people because if you stay at home, nobody will come to your home, to door, to knock. He's saying, okay, we are looking for, some, for, for someone to work. Do you need a job? No, no, nobody will come. So I guess the most important is to be always alert and try to, to start. Once you start, everything will, I don't know, everything else will, will start moving. So I guess once you start, it's like an effect domino that will, will, I don't know, we will, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's great. you have to be always alert and positive.